Welcome to day 794. It is 8.20 p.m. I apologize. I haven't started anything today. I got up. I did some stuff and then we did some stuff at school and then we came home. And I've spent the last three hours probably out doing stuff with the car. You knew something was coming. I didn't tell you because I'm sneaky. Uh, well, here's what I got. Ready? All right, here we go. I had to. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal, but here's what's on my desk. We start off with the Trimble. Who knows what a Trimble is? This thing was a bitch to get to. It took about an hour of taking the amp out, the CD changer, the DSP system, everything in the back of the car back to the, the body uh, from inside the trunk. So that is now out, and if there's any market on eBay, I'll sell it. Probably not. Here's something that came with, an MK, with a, a Mark IV that I didn't need, and uh, you've seen this in a lot of videos both on E39 Source and in the vlogs, and it is now retired from my car anyways. It, it did its job very well. It works perfectly. The trim's in great safe shape. Um, so that is cool. And now I'm going to go over and get Canon. We're going to take a look at that and go play around. And um, I will show you what has taken so long today. I've got probably 30 or 40 clips on my iPhone just sitting there ready for importing and editing and exporting with E39 Source, and I do hope to get to that tonight. That should be possible. It should be up uh, before 10 or 11 o'clock tonight on the 13th. I'm going to get something to drink before we go. But um, we ended up going over to dinner. I got the Mark IV navigation computer in, which if you don't know is the latest and greatest BMW navigation computer with non-iDrive systems, like the trunk loading navigation instead of the iDrive stuff up in the... i got to take the lid off this. Uh, up in the dashboard inside of the car. Um, it was actually never included in an E39 because they didn't make the E39 in 04 when they came up with it. It's been included in the E46 3 Series and the E53 X5 Thuith, and now I have it. So I'll plug and play. It works really well. It looks great. I just updated the software to the latest from 2008. Um, came with a map DVD from 2009. I think I am going to pick up the 2013 discs since I can online. Uh, speed, trap detection, and stuff like that. M splash screen. Night vision mode, it's pretty cool. We'll get this thing to boot up so you can see the M splash, which is nice. The Mark IV is in the trunk. That doesn't much matter for video purposes, but check that out. Doesn't that look nice? And we'll flip on some lights and everything else turns orange just like the other stuff does. And I like it in part because not only does it look more modern, being a larger display, but it's more symmetrical to everything else that's down here. Notice all the climate control buttons and the air conditioning and vent settings, and then we have tone and select and menu over there, and then the presets for radios and CDs over here. But if we go to position one, then we see our accept screen, and everything on here is really fast, whereas the old system would take multiple, multiple seconds to load anything. And if we go to a map, since this is a Mark IV, we get that 3D view. It's called uh, Perspective. It's pretty cool. Well, boys, looks like we were going a little too fast there. We got lights behind us. Now I'm just getting you pulled over somebody behind us, which is ironic because it is right in front of the Peninsula Police Station. Sorry, Kenneth. Yo. Kenneth's here. We are in Peninsula. We've watched our elevation go from uh, home around uh, 1050 to as low as I've seen it, 720. And back up. Now we get to enjoy 303 on the way home. Andrew, if you watch this, uh, you should remember coming from Richfield, you would have come through the little town of Peninsula. And uh, 303 takes you right through Hudson. And how far west east does it go? Does it go to Youngstown? I think so. I don't know. I've never really taken it a whole lot further. Not that we'd want to go to Youngstown. Yeah, I've never taken it further east of Streetsboro, probably. And it probably keeps going. It's 129 Ante Meridian. Welcome to the 14th day of February. Happy Valentine's Day as Princess Tard would say. Um, let's see, my back is still killing me from working on the car and the trunk. Everything has to come out. The E39 source video is up. It's like 17 and a half minutes long, 18 minutes. But that's up if you so wish to go look at that. I did upgrade the software. Uh, that video is rendered, exported, and ready to upload tomorrow. I don't want to put up too many videos in one day. It's, you know, we'll spread it out a little bit. Colt's got some videos on the way. Bobby's going to have some videos on the way too. He's going to be working on the 525. And everything looks good. Tomorrow's supposed to be 45 and sunny, which will be nice. But then possible rain in the afternoon. I don't know if we'll dodge that or not. Um, so that's it. I need to go sleep. Uh, I need to straighten my back out. This sucks. Bending over, working in the trunk back in the corner. It's, it's like 
in the trunk a foot and a half and then over two feet because it's back behind the tail lights. It's, it's not an easy place to work, but you'll see that in the video. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Thursday. Today was a productive day. I'm really glad to get that done. I've been talking about it and talking about it and talking about it for probably 18 months. And that's one of the biggest things remaining to make that car a facelifted model. The only things that would remain would be the steering wheel, which they didn't even do until September 2002 for the 2003 model year. And I just don't know if that steering wheel fits the car. To me, it looks too modern. It speaks modern BMW design language. The E46 um, is the oldest car that I really think that fits in. The E39 is classic BMW body language, like the E38 and the E53 X5 series. And to me, I just don't know that it fits in an E39. I don't know if that'll be on the way in a long time or not, but I don't know. It's, it's not pressing like the navigation was. So that's it. Sorry for a boring vlog. Check out the E39 source video, and I'll talk to you guys on Thursday.